This is a really cool application. So it's called Splashtop THD. Splashtop is one of the top iPad applications. They've sold five million copies. Uh, it's the number one application. It's in the, the number one application in a lot of different countries. Its purpose is to allow iPads to remote into a PC. The problem, the problem is when you remote into that PC, the fidelity is rather low. Resolution is typically 10 by 7, so re relatively low. It's um, not very responsive, but you can surely get access to your Word files. You can get access to your, your documents. But the concept of being able to remote into your PC and have the full fidelity of your PC and the full capability of your PC is, uh, was never, never possible. And today, what I thought I would do is show you guys for the first time the ability for Splashtop to remote into your PC. Now I'm remoting into uh, through this wire here. If it wasn't because of all of you guys, we'll do it wirelessly, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we wire it into this PC here. Now this PC has a GeForce GPU in it, and so it's, it's wonderful, it's high performance, and um, uh, I would just love to be able to sit on the couch and enjoy it. And so let's, let's enjoy it a bit here. Um, one, of the, one of the first applications I, I think uh, would be kind of fun to, to uh, enjoy. Well, I would be able to enjoy it if my mouse worked. <laughs> All right. Tom Peterson, help. I would know. Quite thought of There you go. Help. Okay, so Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. If it worked perfectly, it wouldn't be a demo now, would it? Hey, Jonathan, this is music from my generation. Look at that. Right there on my tablet. That, that's enough of that, huh, guys? I, I think I need to probably do some of this. I usually like listening to Timberlake when doing Facebook. Look at this, and this is our Project Inspire. This is our Christmas, instead of Christmas holiday parties, we do Christmas charities. This is all of us building a kitchen. Isn't this amazing? Everything just works. Everything just works. PowerPoint. Look at that. Everything just works. Video. There's no way video is going to work. There's no way this can possibly work. Wow, it just works. The great Carl Reese. So this is Splash THD, desperately endangered. which allows your Tegra tablet to remote into your PC, treat it like a server, and everything just works. In the full resolution you like it to enjoy, every application, it's as if it's right here. Now, of course, um, you know, those things are, are relatively simple in the final analysis. Those things are relatively simple. Video, um, PowerPoint, uh, iTunes, web browsers, everything on the web, Flash. Those things are relative light, relatively lightweight com computing applications from our perspective. You know, what if we took 
a, a game that just came out. It just came out just a few days ago. <laughs> now, I'm sure this is going to crash. There is no way this could possibly work. So, so um, let's... <laughs> I hope I just didn't jinx myself. So this is Skyrim. This is the latest game that just came out. And uh, this has been named one of the top games. You know what? Instead of me playing, hey, Jonathan, come up and play this for us. <laughs> you get up. You... Hey, guys, this is uh, Jonathan Wendell. It's, uh, I can genuinely say that we've known you since you were a kid. Exactly. Since I started professional gaming. <laughs> it's been about 12 years now. <laughs> uh, cool, hey, so which one of our G-forces did you like the best? I mean, the main reason why I've been using G-Force is mainly because of the drivers and the software to use them. Obviously, it's very powerful to play the video games, but uh, to go in and change a lot of the settings, which I personally do for appropriate game, I'm trying to manipulate uh, the graphics as best I can to you know, get full uh, power out of the frames per second and so forth, so mm -hmm. I can game my highest ability. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I've just I've used all of them. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, doing a three-way SLI probably uh, uh, on my next ring. So, I'm building a new system right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Three-way SLI. That means three GPUs. Three GPUs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very happy news. Yeah, I got the. Uh, it's gonna be pretty sick. I mean, I play Battlefield Three a lot right now, so. Okay. Let's see here, plug in here. So this is our over the cloud, uh, through splash top. No way. That's not possible. I mean, that's not a video, right? This is actually very responsive. Uh, it's amazing how how you can play a game over uh, a streaming service like Spotify. You play a game like this. And so, can you guys imagine what's happening right now? So, Jonathan, his controller controlling this tablet. The tablet is streaming over to the PC. The PC renders the graphics. It compresses it, streams it back to the tablet, and it does it so fast that it's completely interactive. You can play the game. I mean, as you can see right here, um, uh, the magic on the dragon, and it just blows up, taking the soul right now. But it's very responsive, me axing him and everything, so playing games becomes very possible uh, on this device. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, so that, all of that demonstration right there was done on my favorite tablet. It's my favorite tablet, but it also has become my favorite computer. And it's the Asus Tech Transformer Prime. Now, the engineers over at Asus did a fabulous job with this design. It's a thin tablet, it's the thinnest tablet in the world. It's also the light, it's the lightest tablet in the world, and it's full HD, and every, everything you do is 60 hertz. It's just buttery, silky smooth. When you attach it, it automatically connects, and you have a keyboard, and the keyboard works perfectly. It works exactly like you, you expect it to work. In the morning, every morning, I go through all of the, the news that you guys write in Google Currents, and it aggregates all of the news. I go through it in 45 minutes or so, I drink a cup of coffee, and I'm off to work. At night, I come back and I catch up on all of your news during the day, and I sit on, sit on the couch with it in a tablet way. The thing that I was showing you today was ice cream sandwich. The buzz in the industry has been so high. We were the first to bring a dual core tablet to the world. We were the first to bring a quad core tablet to the world. And today, we're delighted to announce that the engineers at ASUS and the engineer at NVIDIA have been working around the clock over the holidays and today it just got approved by Google Tegra 3 Transformer Prime ice cream sandwich will be available today <laughs> really excited about that um, you know, to, to uh, invite a special guest up, the inventor of the netbook, the inventor of the Transformer Prime, the inventor of the Transformer Idea, one of the great designers of PCs in the world, a close friend, 
somebody we've worked worked closely with for almost two decades, and I think together we've we've got must have shipped almost a hundred million computers. I'd like to welcome Jerry Shen to the stage, please. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for coming, welcome, and first of all, congratulations on yet another wonderful creation. You invented, you invented really the mother, the mo modern motherboard industry, you then invented the netbook, and the netbook became the fastest growing PC category in history, and then now you invented uh, the transformer. Can you tell us what, were the, what was the inspiration, what caused you to invent the transformer. What were the ideas that you had that, that ultimately resulted in this wonderful product? Yeah, funny you not, not that you ask, uh, because uh, when we 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 have the idea, we try to create a tablet uh, with the excellent uh, touch screen experience and also uh, with the productivity of network mm -hmm. with incredible audio and the camera. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as a result, people could use the transformer, whether it's a, as a media consumption device, sitting backwards on a couch or laying in bed, you could be reading a book, reading a magazine, or watching a great high-definition movie, mm -hmm. or you could have a doc mm -hmm. and use it for, for productivity. Yeah. Um, obviously, as I've shown you just now, you could use it to create a PowerPoint slide, you could, you could use it to write email, of course, and it's a, it's a wonderful productivity device. Now, you know, people are so excited about about uh, this new category. The, the reviews have been wonderful and, and I think everybody's been really gracious in receiving this new idea. And it made, it, made, it, made, made us realize that uh, there's innovation still left in the tablet market, that we're only two years into it. And you know, we've been working on PCs now, coming up on 25 years, mm -hmm. and we're still coming up with ideas. Yeah. And so we're two years into the innovation cycle of what is likely to be a very important mobile computing segment. Mm -hmm. um, but but I, think, I think everybody says, you know, gosh, the transformer, it's got, it's got everything, and it's, it's the, the luxury um, uh, version for somebody who would like to have a great 10-inch tablet, high-definition tablet, and a great keyboard. But there's this whole new segment that's growing incredibly fast. It's selling like gangbusters, frankly. It's, the $199 price point, $249 price point, these media tablets by Fire and Nook, mm -hmm. they're growing like, they're just selling like chiclets. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, what can we do? How do we bring a versatility and a richness of a tablet experience to a price point like the Fire and the Nook? And, you know, if we could solve that problem, mm -hmm. if we can have our cake and eat it too, if we can create this wonderful tablet that's also affordable, we can sell it like chiclets. Don't you guys think? Woo. Wouldn't you guys like that? Wow. So how do, how, do we, how do we do that? How do we get there? How do we get this technology? Today, I want to show you something really incredible. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, uh, this one. Uh, this machine uh, with the the with the uh, pop pro tablet screen, high screen can we eat, and also the we have the incredible incredible sound and also camera. That's the world best camera, and this one with also very high high resolution. This is almost the same. It's the same inch, but all the feature almost the same. The world best. This is the machine, and uh, we dream, we think we can really create another segment. Here so this are. is, no kidding, so this is, um, it's quad core, it's Tegra 3, actually, so it's actually five cores, Tegra 3. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's got a great camera, ice cream sandwich. Mm -hmm. this, is, this thing is gonna, this is worth $399. Uh, we can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> you pack three hundred ninety nine dollars worth of technology in here. Now, do you, do you think we, could, we might be able to work really, really hard together and bring it down to two ninety nine? Uh, better. You, <laughs> <laughs> all of this, all of this resolution and this great camera, <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, how, what can you do? What, what, 
Tell us what you can do. Uh, we want to achieve the magic price 249. Wow. It's quad core. It's every touch I just made, 60 hertz, 12 by 8 resolution, mm -hmm. a fabulous camera, battery life all day. You can use it to read books, watch movies, play games. Everything that we saw on Tegra Zone, all of the everything that you saw earlier in the demonstration we just made, all possible at 249. This is unbelievable. This is terrific. Thank you very much, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he keeps reaching out to shake my hand, I think. Here we go. Thank you. That's fantastic. <laughs>